Wow. So, just more creeping. Uh, level 1 TC, like I said, that stomp is ridiculously hard on those ghouls. Because they have so, such low HP, they need to be able to do as much damage in the short lives that they have. Um, so that doesn't really work very well. Um, he gets a good wolf kill and gets level 2 on his DK. Lich is coming out, which is going to be a great help because, I mean, just... I think you guys know what uh, Frost Nova does. Almost pulls off another Surround on Romeo. Doesn't quite get a unit on the other side. And... Um... The, oh, so he's starting to get out Raiders. Like I said, um, Raiders don't do as much... Well, I'm not talking about physical damage, but I'm talking about like damage to another army. Because he has so many ghouls, it's really hard to inflict damage on him... Um, on him because one ghoul is not nearly as much as one fiend in a fiend army so it's really hard for uh, him to pick off units because there are so many units around now mad frog starts to go for this creep at the um, merchant camp or mercenary camp <laughs> rather wow I am not with it today so he tries to get that creep done, but uh, Romeo creep jacks him, pulls off a couple of ensnare, oh, 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 look, e-click, e-click, and right-click on a unit. That's all you have to do with orc. That's that's basically my orc tutorial right there. 9 HP uh, Farseer TP's out. Only can do that on land. Oh, wait. Is this land? ESL TV. I could be totally <laughs> wrong. I thought this was land, but SK didn't go to. Oh, wait, SK did go to the finals. I thought maybe not. I'm totally confused. I think they did. Yeah, they played him for first round and got knocked out. Um. Yeah. So he gets the gets that done by um just forcing a TP Coil Nova on the uh. Farseer, so you can cast a TP out. They're just both creeping, trying to get hero levels on their um, secondary heroes, I'm guessing. And just goes for as much creeping as possible. They don't want to be sitting around their base, which I tend to do sometimes, which is really bad. Um, if you notice in pro games, they're never in their base. They go there to heal up for like two seconds, and then they're out creeping again, or harassing, or making an expansion and protecting it. They're like never sitting around their base. Tome of Intelligence and uh, Mad Frog leaves that behind. I've noticed a lot of uh, pro players have been leaving tomes behind. Now, here's what's ridiculous. I think this is totally an orc imbalanced um, racial trait, if you will. Um, like in World of Warcraft, you know, each race has a different trait and abilities. So, um, check out the drops that he's gonna get. Um, he's creeping out the shop while Mad Frog is coming out with a couple of skeletons to scout and his Lich and DK just to try to harass as much as possible. Wait, what, what dropped? The, the Tome of Experience? Wait, wait, what's the percent rate on that? Really low? Oh, and look, a Sobe Mask, one of the best items you can possibly get from that shop. Totally an orc imbalanced, Summoning. induced uh, thing. <laughs> thing, huh? Yeah, it's a totally a, a racial passive for uh, orc. They get better drops than undead. Oh, Coil Nova on that uh, Raider. And Snare, and Snare. And both the heroes are sitting there, passed off the TP, waiting for the Lich to get focused. TP out at 43 HP. Coil Nova focus again on a Raider, and down it goes. Hua. Now creeping up that second Goblin Merchant Shop. He's just gonna try to creep this out real quick while he's gone. Another Sobe Mask! Hey! How's it going? This time he doesn't get a Tome of Imba. 
aka uh, experience. But he does get a Tome of Agility plus two that he leaves behind for a while. Another wolf, another free EXP. Unless he resummoned, but it only looks like he has one wolf, so no. Now, uh, Romeo goes back to the shop to get some items before the fight because he knows that uh, Mad Frog is going towards his base. So he comes back to the shop, pulls off a scroll of healing, goes back towards uh, his own base, but uh, Mad Frog decides to creep the other merchant camp. No mercenary camp. Oh. And look what gets jacked a statue from Romeo. Uh, Romeo, I mean, from Mad Frog by Romeo. Um, so, Mad Frog knows where he's at, so he pulls in the statue, he pulls up his units, he frost novas, he tries to do as much damage as possible before the ghouls go in because he doesn't want to uh, have the ghouls focused right away. So, his DK almost dies, he pops off his. Uh, a heal scroll or a pot, I'm not sure, or both. Hits off another uh, heal pot on the stomp and just tries to get as many uh, webs as he can get before they, um, before his DK gets killed. Because his DK is getting low on HP, he's just trying to hero focus. So he's running him around. Um, now he's starting to do the wise thing by focusing down Mad Frog's ghoul, which is pretty easy to drop, or the fiends. Lich is getting pretty low, so Coil, and now here is where Romeo starts to get in trouble. He's trying to get too many hero kills and unit kills, which is not happening, so he's picking off units left and right by using Coil Nova and just um, two levels on the Lich, which means that he's at least got, he hasn't purchased level two Nova and level two Dark Ritual. And he has two really low HP grunts, but he's going to ignore that for now and go for the Torn Chieftain. He coil Novas, and he barely gets away. Um, not enough HP on that DK to pull that off, so level 2 Aura, and his DK is way faster than the Orc right now. And pull, make, sure, make sure to get away. Another um, coil goes off on that Farseer, and down it goes healing up a little bit before he goes inside uh, Romeo's base. 1-0 upgrades on the ghouls, not a whole lot, but it's still going. It's pretty nice. Any upgrades on ghouls are really, really nice. Uh, it, they do a ridiculous amount of damage when they have uh, 3 attack. Um now going for a couple of those uh, peon kills because he's realizing that he needs to take down the beastery and it's getting repaired too fast. So he is getting ensnared over and over again while um, trying to run around his DK. Coil and Nova goes off on those uh, uh, wyvern. Now at this point Romeo is in really bad shape. He doesn't have his Farseer out, he only has a couple of raiders, and um, Mad Frog's all on his grill, taking out a bunch of burrows, and there's not a whole lot he can do right now. Nova, and more focus fire. Now just taking out production buildings. One more grunt's gonna come out before it dies. Lich is going into Nova or hit that last yep, last hit on that raider. Down it goes. Level five Lich. Almost, almost come on. One more kill and level five Lich, so level three Nova is retarded. Uh Frost Armor. He gets frost armor instead because he's getting low HP and he knows that the TC is going to be slowed by it. Another coil goes off and now one grunt left and he says GG I believe. Farseer getting focused again. GG says Romeo and Romeo leaves. So notice no destroyers. Mad Frog did not even build a single destroyer that whole game. So I just wanted to show the new kind of strat that Undeads are using versus Orc because Orc it has a really, most of the time, easy time at tier 2. Um, 
by the way, shout out to Jaxi. She just got uh, level 30 on her account, which is much higher than I can get myself. So, nice job. Um, so, yeah, it's a new strategy that Undead are using versus Orc, just because it gives them a stronger tier 2. It seems to be working versus um, Orc players. I haven't really been using it very much because I suck with ghouls. I tend to sacrifice them way too easily. I don't have very good micro. I believe the strat is pretty micro intensive just because of how easy ghouls die. It seems that scrolls of healing help a hell of a lot. Um, you definitely need uh, Lich second so that you can... Um, definitely need that slowing as well. So it seems like the combination of heal scrolls and the Nova and the attack upgrades really do help the ghouls survive longer and do more damage to keep them wait, keep them doing damage and keep them alive. So um I hope this was a decent audio commentary that wasn't horrible because I know I haven't done one in quite a while. So definitely give me some feedback but I probably suck. So this is Pancake Abuse signing off once again. The music is my brother's, so yeah, I definitely have the the right to you know to redistribute it or whatever. But um, definitely check it out, and you know it's in the little text file that I included. So this will be Pancake Abuse signing out. Um, have fun, and good luck on your games and laddering or whatever. Bye. <laughs>